So today we got great news for everyone. Blackmagic released the 4.0 firmware beta for everyone. So the 4K model and the 4.6K model. Um, I've had the firmware for quite a while, but I had to keep it on the down low because I couldn't tell anybody what was going on. But being on shoots recently, um, the firmware is, is so much better, so much easier. Um, the fact that you can show the client like the look of the LUT or the grade that you, you have in mind straight through the, the monitor is good. They could either be like, that's disgusting or keep it neutral. Um, so you, you guys are right on the money throughout your shoot. Um, coming from the RED system, as people know, I used to shoot RED. <coughs> I would say it's very much like that setup. So everything's touch screen and touch and drag. Okay, yeah, so you got ISO, jump to the ISO settings. You got your white balance, customize it here or just choose the presets here. You can also tint right here. Um, you got your iris, open it up, close it down or auto exposure, depending on how you want to use it. You got your shutter angle and it gives you recommended shutter for the frame rate that you're in. Um, now frame rates, this is what I love, it's so much easier than the slow-mo options that we had before. Now the slow-mo options are listed slightly different, so when you go into the menu, it's listed as off-speed recording. So for me to be quick, especially on shoots, I always make sure off-speed recording is on. 1080p, you can go with the window sensor all the way up to, you know, 120 frames. Um, now without window, you got 60 frames, so that's 4K or, or 1080, however you want to do it. But the beauty about it is now, without jumping in here, when you choose your frame rate, you can just turn it off and on there. So bam, you're just 25 frames per second, and then you're like, I wanna quickly shoot 60 frames per second, done. Whereas before, you had to jump in the menu, and it was just quite frustrating. So that's really, really cool. Um, now, say if you shoot in 1080, and you wanna jump in to 120 frames per second, then you just make sure that's on all the time. And then that way, when you jump, out of it, so 25 frames a second, as you can see, because we're cropped in. Um, when you jump into it, boom, you go all the way up to 120 frames. With the 4.6K model before, when you shot, if you wanted to shoot 4.6K, you had to shoot RAW. So now you can shoot 4.6K ProRes. So here's all your options. Like I said, 4.6K ProRes now, which is amazing. 3K anamorphic, and you got your monitor. So this will display the LUT in the monitor. Front, uh, front SDI is the EVF, I think, so you want to turn that on as well, um, or just have a clean feed, uh, turn the lot off, uh, zebra settings, all that stuff, frame guides, um, audio, nice and simple as before. Okay, so besides the menu settings, which is in here, nice and simple to set up, your recording settings, your viewing, your monitor, presets, LUTs, audio, um, a lot of people need to know the project settings, which isn't in here, and a lot of people, um, I guess, forget to tell you, or it's like a hidden secret for some reason. So just go to your normal viewing mode, and then just simply swipe right, and then you got your clips and your project settings. So just remember, that's not in the menu settings. So just remember, normal mode, swipe right, and there's all your, your info that you need. So say you just updated the camera, firmware's up to date, and you want to start messing with the LUTs in the camera. So just grab your card. Pop it in your, your CFS 2.0 reader, go to your menu settings, grab all your LUTs, wherever your LUTs are from, just slide them onto the card, eject the card, pop it in the camera, nice and easy, go to menu, where you just go to the LUTs, um, these are the ones I already have, and just click here to install the LUTs, import LUT, yes, and these are the ones on the card, it depends on how many cards you got in there, and I've got a lot installed already, so just click film 2, I know that's installed, import, Give it a second, that's done. So let's just quickly show you what it looks like. So this is, make sure you click the tick box so you can view it. And this is the black magic LUT, so the normal LUT. And we'll go to the one I just installed, film two. So you can click here or, or just drag across. And we want film two, make sure you click the tick. And now we're film, viewing in the film mode. So it doesn't record like this so don't record lots baked in because it won't do it. it just it will always record the film mode besides i think the black magic original lot um, otherwise it just records in film mode but it's great to know that when you film this way and you get your exposure right every time you put my lot or someone else's lot when you're editing it's going to look exactly the same as you filmed which is amazing just bear in mind every time you update the firmware say if another one comes out next week or whatever you have to reinstall the LUTs, but as you can see, it takes seconds. So don't install your firmware on a shoot 
and you don't have your LUTs with you because you stress yourself out. So just make sure you reinstall the LUTs every time you update the firmware. So regarding the LUTs, um, especially my LUTs, the 4K LUTs, 4.6K LUTs, um, they're now updated. So anyone that's bought them will get an updated file for them to put them in the camera because the LUTs that are in the files now aren't supported in the camera. So I've updated that so you can um, put them in there. And it's great because I've made one that's just like a base profile, but from the Blackmagic one, um, I still find the original Blackmagic one just a touch harsh, so it's hard to, to get that right on shoot if you're viewing that while you're shooting. So I made something very similar, but the gamma is slightly not as harsh, um, the blacks aren't as crushed, uh, which is great to use as a LUT, and you can tweak it from there, but it's also great to use in the monitor, so it gives you that bit of color without everything blowing out too easy. Um, and then you can use all the other LUTs if you want and go crazy and use the peach fade and um, I got a new red one, I got a new Michael Bay style kind of looking LUT and then you got the film LUTs um, and it's amazing I think. It's so much better to work that way rather than shooting with the harsh look and like all my highlights can be blown out or shooting with film and your clients looking at it and they're just like why does it look so weird. Um, so yeah it's, it's awesome to work with so, so get those now, get the updates and um, really really easy to install thanks for checking out this video and i hope to help some people out and um, have fun shooting with your brand new camera